Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 22 in their PHP programming series and this is going to be a short video hopefully and we're going to investigate the isSet function now this will be used a lot in PHP because you'll understand in a moment it will check if a variable is set and it will return the value of either true or false so let's just make a simple PHP file And we'll save this as is set.php. And the way that we use the is set function is simply by typing is set. So what we can do is we can say um, if, and then we'll make our if statement here. Actually, up here we're going to declare, no, we'll actually declare in here, sorry. So what we're going to do is say if, and then inside the if statement you just type is set. And then in brackets you need to type the variable that you are checking. If it's set or not and in this case I'm going to check if the variable get user is set so what this will do is it will check if the variable get user is set and if it is it will return true and execute this statement if it is not it will return false and it will ignore all the code inside here so I'm going to say if is set get user we're going to echo out welcome to the website and then we'll, we'll concatenate um get user whoops been a bit sloppy today okay so we'll save that and now if we go to is set php and you'll see that nothing has appeared but if we type um user equals bob it will say welcome to the website bob and there's no space there but that doesn't really matter so that's simply how to use the is set so you simply type, you can put it in an if statement, you can type if and just type is set and in brackets you need to type the variable that you're checking is set or not and what this will do is return either true or false. So let's just um, go into a more practical use for this. Um, let's see, I know, yep, yeah, we're going to create um, a calculator using the is set. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a HTML page html body and then we'll just close the html page right here we're just going to create a simple calculator we'll call this add.php and inside here we're going to make a little form let's say form action equals add.php and you should know what this all means from a previous tutorial and then the method is going to be get we're going to use get and then we're going to make two different um, text boxes. They're going to, we're going to um, use a type number. So import type equals number. We're going to make we're going to make them a bit small. Size equals five, and we're going to set the name to num one. Okay, and then you need to set another import box. Import type the same thing. Type equals number. Size equals five again, but the name of this one is going to be num two. Okay, so we're going to make a little submit button here. Um, type equals submit. And we'll make the value add. So it's going to just say add on the button. Okay, and that'll end our form. So if we save this, go to add.php. And we have our first, we'll add a plus sign there as well, just to make it look a little more neater okay so now we have our first and second but if we actually do anything with this nothing happens because we haven't set it to do anything so what we can do down here is we can just simply add them together so we'll declare a variable num1 is actually no we need to start our PHP first so this is just a little lesson you can embed PHP inside HTML that's what it's meant for so I will make a video after this on the best ways to embed PHP and HTML but for now all you need to do is just put opening PHP tag and a closing PHP tag in between the HTML so we'll open our PHP tag and close it I'm going to say num1 is equal to I'm going to get up here num1 close that and then num2 is going to equal to oh, actually I forgot the quotation mark there my bad and num2 is going to be get 
num2 okay and all we need to do here is make a new variable called total and that's going to be um, num1 plus num2 okay so now all we're doing here is getting the num1 from this text box and num2 from this text box and adding them together to make the variable total so we can just echo that out we can just say echo total is concatenate total onto that okay but if we echo this out you'll see well actually if we just do this now if we if we just reload this page you'll see that it says the total is seven that's because we're actually inputting these variables into this URL num1 is 3 and num2 is 4 but if we go to the page add.php you'll see we have these two ugly errors and it says the total is zero that's not what we want for our page so what we can do is use the is set function here all we need to do is wrap this code here inside is set so we'll make an if statement we'll say if is set and we're looking for get num1 um yep yeah. let's say if is set num1 i need another closing bracket there then we're going to echo out this but the problem with this is that we have two um two variables we have this one get num1 but we're also trying to call get num2 which doesn't exist so all we need to do is as in our logical operators we'll just add an and and then we'll type is set and then get num2 whoops okay so now what that's going to do is going to check if num1 get num1 is set so if the first text box has been entered and then it's going to check if num2 is set so if the second is entered so if I save this reload the page and there's a parse error let me see what I've done wrong line 12 um, I've missed out the closing bracket here get very confused sometimes when there's so many so save that reload and you'll see we don't have this ugly error anymore and if we just type 4 plus add we'll get our value here okay and we can also make another if statement to add the value type you can just type value equals and then do our PHP here and put the value there but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial since this tutorial was just aimed at you know looking at the is set function so thanks for watching this tutorial and hope this helped you you will use the is set function a lot so make sure you you know get used to it remember how it works and enjoy the next video